Now Max Copper has over 35 years experience as a palmistry and numerology expert and today he's got Joanne from the audience with him. Max I believe you're going to decode her hand for us today. It's a map of her life and we're going to try to help her empower on this earthly plane as well as the spiritual plane. So that's what palmistry does and numerology does. Keys into our codes, tell us how we relate to other people and find out the true potentials about ourselves. The heart line is the top one here, the closest to the fingers. You'll see it where it finishes tells us a lot how we give and receive love. Here's a strong headline, so I'd say she has a high career and high profile, and she is a very well educated woman too, as well. So, what do I you do for a career, Joanne? I'm um, a university lecturer. The fingers can say just as much as the lines on the palm, is that yes, what you're saying? Yes, exactly. It's the shape and the turns, the fingers. You know, it's turn in Saturn. Joe questions things. <laughs> he likes to be financial as well. It's very important to have the roof overhead and the bills paid. I don't think that's silly. We live on the earthly plane. We've still got to have dollars and cents. And remember, this is your map. You're the only one who can change it. Max, that's absolutely amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Copper. Now there's a new way to find your perfect partner or see if you're compatible with your current one. All that's required is your birth date. And I'll tell you straight away, when you put them together, You'll see if you match. The love doctor behind all of this is Brisbane's Max Copper. I try to save you 10, 15, 20 years of your life problems. Max says all the numbers in your life hold a meaning from where you live to your phone number and, of course, your birth date. The dates of birth is the most important thing we look at. That's the key to everything. For the full list of compatibilities, you'll just have to check out Max's latest book, Does Your Love Life Add Up? It's great to have you with us. Now, how do we figure out what our number is, our life number is? You only need your date of birth, and you've got to add them right along the top line. So I've got 8th, the 2nd, 1950. So we had the 8th, the 2, the 1, the 9, the 5. So that comes up to a 25. A 2 and a 5 makes a 7. Your life lesson is a 7. So we start with number one. That's the, the base number. They're the leaders. They're the people who have the got the go, and they're out there people. And you, you'll find they're, they're, they sit more with the fives and the eights and the ones. They're probably compatible with those. Mm -hmm. If you don't line up with them, don't panic. You just have to work a little bit harder at it, that's all. Let's look at Brad and Angelina at the moment. What, what do you think's going on numerologically? <laughs> well, they're, they're together, but Brad's a four, and he likes order and system around him, and Angelina's a five. She just goes in a way, does her own things. OK, Madonna and Guy Ritchie, Oof. that split. Well, Madonna's a control freak. You can't oh. say anything more about her. She the eights, the, the, eights. Eights, the power, the money. She needs control. Why typically do people come to you to have their numbers read. What are the what are the reasons? Main thing is love and relationship. That's the first thing. Their business, their career, their children. I'm writing another book that's coming up about children. You can tell which are a left brain or a right brain and where they should be educated. Put them into what field? Should they be artists? Should they be scientific or mathematically? Right. Now, see, I can really see some point in that too because there are so many parents who say, if only I knew what made my child really ah, tick. Yes, yeah, right. But exactly. if you understand their brain works in a different way, you can that's you can accommodate that. And you, you? you head them down that road earlier and you get them into like drama or things that they're a right-brainer, you're going to help them have a more successful and happy life mm. instead of pushing them into something they don't want to be.